Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a really cool one for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at this magnetic heat sink for the iPad. So down here, you guys can see it says Tissot iPad cooler. And most of this is in Chinese. However, you can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna be just by the pictures alone. You can see the magnets, cool. Looks like it's not very loud, has some lights, has a fan and it's lightweight. So let's go ahead and crack it open and give it a shot because I'm very excited to see this product. All right, so open it from the top here, slide it out. Nothing else in the box. Set that to the side. Let's see, we've got a little manual. We've got a USB-A to USB-C cable. I like that. And is this supposed to be flipped around? Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at that. That looks really cool already. It almost looks like it's lit up, but I'm pretty sure that's just the light from my studio playing tricks on my eyes. So let's pull it out. Wow. Look at this. This is enormous. And this is already cool to the touch. So whatever material they use here, it is nice and cool. There is the magnetic piece that you are going to put onto your iPad. It also comes with a plastic piece. We'll have to see what that's about here in a second. Now, obviously on the back of the iPad, there is no magnets. So it's not MagSafe like an iPhone, uh, unfortunately, but maybe in the future they will do that. For now, we're gonna have to settle for this and we're gonna see how well this works. All right, so just for fun, let's see how magnetized, wow, well, <laughs> That's pretty magnetized. So let's go ahead and I think what you have to do, the instructions are kind of tough just because there's not a whole lot, um, but it says here, if you guys wanna pause and read it, looks like I need to put the protective piece down first, which I'm thinking is this plastic. So I'm gonna put this on there first just to protect the back of the, the iPad here. And then we will go from there and stick it on top. So let's do that now. All right, so it's kind of difficult to do this behind a camera, but I think that's about right. It's close enough. Um, not the most perfect install, but I don't think this part matters too much. <laughs> we'll find out. So there's that. That's just the protector uh, because you're going to be placing this 3M adhesive onto the back and you don't want to put that directly on the iPad. So this makes sense. So we will just peel this off and let's see how sticky it is. Oh yeah, that's sticky and kind of align it how you want. Let's do it like that looks pretty good. Press in the center. I'm just making this up, but I'm pretty sure that's probably how you should do it. Give it a quick press and oh yeah, we are ready to rock. I didn't need any English instructions for this one. I figured it out on my own as I'm sure many of you guys would as well. So this has a switch at the bottom. I didn't even show you the ports because I'm too excited here. Uh, let's take a look around it. Obviously those radiators look awesome. Uh, they are like a metallic blue. And then we've got a USB-C port right there as well as a switch probably for the different speeds, but we'll try it out here in a sec and take a look. So first things first, let's plug this into the port. And then this is gonna have to go into another port because it's USB-A. I don't have many of those laying around. I'll have to go find one. All right, so we are back. I plugged it in uh, so far. Let's get this trash out of the way. I think this is a screen, so let's go ahead and Turn it on. Oh my gosh, there it goes. Doing something. Eight. Why is it counting down? Well, it's definitely on. So let's give it a second. I don't know why it's counting down. I hope it doesn't explode, but this looks really cool. I know the lights are kind of shining on it because I've got so many studio lights in here, but the LED RGB is looking really strong on this one. And I can feel this is pulling in a ton of air. I mean, this is a big surface here and it is expelling it through these radiators on the side here. I can feel it shooting out. Now, obviously the iPad's cold right now and I'm in a cold environment. Uh, you can imagine if you're gaming on your iPad, how this is going to change things. All right, so this is actually the temperature supposedly. That's pretty cool. I believe it's in Celsius. So that's claiming to be like 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 39. Uh, that is pretty impressive if true. Um, and oh my gosh, I can already feel the sides. So like up here where it doesn't reach as much, it's not as cold, but around where this is, this is getting super chilled. Like this is actually working. This is pretty cool guys. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let's just open up something that's kind of intensive. Uh, what would be intensive? I know it's intensive. Growl is very intensive. Uh, this will destroy your battery if you leave it on for any amount of time. So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and I'm gonna come back in a few minutes and see how we're doing. All right, guys, so we're back. I can already feel heat coming off of the heat extractor. I can feel it. You can see the temperature actually did go up. It might actually be a legitimate temperature, but I can feel the warm air coming out of here. So this is definitely extracting it. Let's pull this off and let's see. So this is ice cold right here. Like 
I could chill a drink on this. I could put my drink right here and it would probably stay cold because this is super cold right here. As you come out, it does get a little bit warmer right here. This side is cool. So this is definitely working guys. It's 100% extracting the heat from the iPad. And you can see the temperature is actually going up as I'm using it. Now it appears that these switches down here are actually for the different modes. So this is in high mode right now and it's pretty silent. I mean, this is probably the quietest fan that we've reviewed so far and it's huge. Um, let's go down one notch. So now it's on the low speed and this is off. This is a win. So if you game a lot on your iPad and you wanna keep it cool, you'll definitely wanna check something like this out, especially if you notice your iPad gets really hot because this is really all it does to your iPad. It doesn't look bad or anything. You can still pretty much slip it in any case. You guys can see how thin it is. Um, it's pretty small, pretty small footprint, but a lot of cooling power from this little guy. Big thank you to Tiso for sending this out free for review. This is a very cool product, no pun intended. One thing I do want to mention, like I mentioned with all of these fans, I have no idea if this is actually gonna cause condensation inside your iPad. That is something to think about. There's no real way for me to test that, but that is a point that is brought up sometimes with these coolers is that it could cause condensation on the inside of the iPad. I don't know how valid that complaint or worry is, but just something to keep in mind. So if you wanna pick one of these up, I have it linked down below in the description. Very nice product. You guys could see it definitely chilled the iPad. And when I was playing that intensive game that seems to heat up every device I put it on, the temperature went up barely here, but I could feel the heat being expelled. And then when I took this off, this part was definitely cold. It really does chill the iPad. So check it out guys. Links again down below. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.